Good morning. It's almost 6 a.m., which is the earliest you'll probably ever see me be up. But me, RJ, Jacob, and Anthony are all going down to Portland today to pick for the day. So they wanted to leave hella early. So I'm up at 5.56 a.m. waiting for them to pick me up and having some cereal. And I just thought that I would film the intro of this video. So this is going to be a thrifting trip with two fellow YouTubers down to Portland. So let's see what we get. Loveless, what's happening? Swap, baby. Papa came up. Papa, burgers, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> this man's just placed chess all day long. I, I'm doing it because of RJ, really. RJ's all he does to, is place chess. Well, I'm learning bro. chess, man. I'm learning. <laughs> trying to get good you know what i'm saying i saw the queen's gambit on netflix <laughs> top notch you know what i'm saying and i was like damn she's fucking killing it so now i'm trying to be like her really i taught this man everything he knows about chess um, and vintage what did you want to eat today oh uh, they don't have anything <laughs> i'm gonna eat air <laughs> All right, we got some tings. Uh, we got this dead stock double XL, like perennial optimist, super cute, like floral tea. We got a lot of wood hangers, which is dope. I always need wood hangers. We got this book, first edition from 1906, Upton Sinclair, The Jungle. And on eBay, the prices are all over the place, but I think it's at least a $30 book. If it was in better condition, uh, probably like a hundred plus, but still gonna grab it. And then, yeah, we got some good stuff. We got a really sick Disney, like Mickey sleep tea, some vintage like Lee jeans. This marble shopping basket is insane. Uh, they don't go for a lot, but I'm just gonna keep it. It's really cool. But yeah, cart is pretty full. Let's see what else we get. Yo, shout out John, Salem Heights. He just blessed me with this, straight up gave it to me. He hooked all of us up with like a ton of gear. Crazy. You just gave this to me, dude. Blackout 2000. It's thrashed, hella nice. Bruh. Crazy. I also bought some stuff from him. I'll show y'all when I'm back home, but. Damn. Oh, let me see that Nike. Damn. Challenge court sample. That shit is crazy. So sick. Sheesh. Jacob Star is YouTube famous vlogging right now as we go into the Value Village. Lagging behind. I know, man. <laughs> is the chest poppy? I know. Okay, what is up, y'all? We are back now. It's actually been a few days since I went down to Portland, but I'm back now and I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. No particular order. Let's just go through it. First, I want to start off with this The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. 
This is a book from 1906. It is the first edition. It's in pretty rough shape. A lot of the ink has kind of like gone from it and everything, but I'm just throwing this in the video to show you guys that I don't just pick up clothes. There is money to be made everywhere. They were having really slow rotations at the bins that we were at, so they brought out a new bin of books, and I looked at it, and I was like, hey, I've read this book before. It's a good book. And then I looked, and in the front page, there was a handwritten note from 1907. And I was like, damn, this is really old. So yeah, like I said, not the best condition. Like the spine is kind of separated and everything, but I saw really good conditions of these selling for like a hundred dollars. So at least if I get like 20 bucks for it, I'll be stoked. So that was like a random find that I had. Got these two on top actually, because I'm going to be auctioning these tonight. So they will be sold by the time you guys see this video. But my homie John, who I didn't get any clips of him or anything, but he was the nicest dude I've ever met. I'll throw his at on the screen right right now. It's Salem.Heights, I believe. He's the nicest dude ever. Go give him a follow. He hooked it up. He first off blessed me with a piece that I'm going to show you guys really soon. And then everything else that I got from him, he hooked it up for super cheap deals. So I'm super stoked to have these. I'm throwing them on my live auction tonight. So like I said, they'll be sold by the time you guys see them. But this is a Soul Calibur 4 video game promo tee. It has a mullet hit. So it has the hit right here on the front and then the big hit on the back. And this is the one where you could play as Darth Vader or Yoda super super sick size xl and then he also sold me this guy this is a ocarina of time zelda nintendo 64 video game promo tee with the sleeve hit and then the little hit right there this is on an all sport blank size large nothing on the back but super super sick tee so i'm really glad that i picked that one up from him too this i did not pick up from him but i picked it up from the value village it was the last stop of our trip and they're on ebay for around the same price but i kind of just wanted it to throw in my house now and there's no tax in oregon and i didn't have to worry about it being shipped or anything but it's this new in box oscar from neon genesis evangelion and it's from you cannot redo and it's a figurine there's a ton of different like models of her but she has like an eye patch and like a hat it's gonna be really hard to see and i have my chill beads going in the background you can see in the reflection but yeah this is just a cool figurine i thought i'd put it in my room it was like 35 bucks so right on ebay prices Valley Village just gotta stop that. Like they look everything up on eBay now, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like you get it for free, stop doing that. These pieces I also bought from him. This is a Harley Davidson crew neck sweater. I just really love the colors. Front and back print, super sick. This was 10 bucks. And then this, he gifted to me. So this is the one I was saying, he like gifted me a tee. This is a Method Man Redman Blackout 2000 Tour tee. This is a crazy tee, y'all. This is like a $100 tee. It is really distressed. Like the bottom, as you can see, has pieces hanging and it has a giant hole in one of the pits. Yeah, it's like one of the pits is like completely chopped, but he was like, I know you like thrash tees. So dude, shout out to you. I know he watches the video too. So he's gonna watch this. John, seriously, like you're crazy for giving me this tee. It's gonna be in my personal collection. It's not leaving. So not for sale. Don't even ask me, but dude, for real, like this is a blessing for real, insane. Also cop this from him. I think it was 10. It's a bubble yum, like bubble gum promo tee on the back has blow your own bubble, super sick. This gum is like iconic if you grew up in like the early 2000s, so really cool tea. And then these two, he actually just lobbed them to me while we were in the bins. We just all kind of started talking to him and he had a bunch of stuff in his cart and he was like, I don't really even want any of this stuff, like I'm moving anyway. So he just like let us pick through his cart and just like gave us stuff. So he gave me this tangerine orange polo sport ralph lauren spell out like little flag tee super sick this colorway is really really awesome it's a size large really good size and yeah like he just threw it to me and then this one too it's a short sleeve tee kind of has like a thicker cotton like almost like a henley feel to it and it is just an embroidered spell out polo sport it's like cream on cream pretty cool so yeah he just lobbed those to me while we were in the bin so all of those i basically got from him so that was crazy and then first off look at this marble basket super sick it has the hit on every side of it and yeah, I had a ton of people try to buy this from me. I'd never seen them before, but then when I did a quick eBay search, they're all over eBay for like 20 to 30 bucks. So I just didn't want to sell it because I feel like it'd be a pain to ship. So I ended up holding on to it. I think it'll just be a cool piece, you know, to have at the house, even though uh, none of us be smoking up in here, smoking kills. So we don't be doing that, but 
This is the first tee, just straight off the bins that I got. It's just a 97 hot August nights, just like a graphic car t-shirt. The colors are super, super sick. It is yellowed and has some stains, but I'll give it a soak. Just a Santa Cruz graphic tee. I think it's like size small. I just never pass on these like modern skate tees because they sell for like 15, 20 bucks on Depop all day. This is a cool Rainforest Cafe tee. It's red, just a big graphic, and it says Downtown Disney on it. It's an older one on a Rainforest Cafe tag, size double XL. It's probably like mid 2000s. This one is really cool also. It's a Seattle, Washington like embroidered crew neck sweatshirt, but this is like terry cloth. It's this really nice like sage green and then this like light maroon and then it does have some stains on the back, but still really cool. Made in USA, size XL, super cool. Another Santa Cruz tee, I think this is also size small. Super cool highlighter yellow, like I said, easy like 15, $20 tee on Depop. Got a modern Levi's jacket. I like don't really find that many Levi's denim jackets on honestly, but this one is modern. It's like size small, but I thought I'd pick it up just because I think it's like easy 25, 30 bucks on Depop. This is probably one of the coolest tees I found. It sucks. It's a sleep shirt. So it's like really long, but it's this like Mickey shirt and it says, ha 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 ha, laugh it up. Single stitch all around. But like I said, it's a sleep shirt. It doesn't seem like it's too long but still a really really cool tee even these big print mickey tees if they're sleep shirts i can still sell them for like 30 plus bucks so really cool this is more of like an ebay item i saw them selling for like 30 bucks on ebay it's a dutch bros quarter zip sweater it's actually really really good quality like really thick and nicely woven but it just says dutch bros if you guys didn't know dutch bros is like a coffee stand around here i don't know if they're all over but they're in the northwest this is an xbox 360 promo tee shout out to jacob star lob this to me appreciate you homie needs a good soak but it just has the little hit right there and then the mullet hit on the back probably a promo for when it came out does need a soak has some stains and stuff but could potentially be a cool like auction piece got like a early mid 2000s just arizona tee on a red bar anvil blank size xl got a light pink single stitch size large says coolest mom in the world i just really like the colors like anything with colors like this and if it's vintage like on depop doesn't really matter what it says you'll be able to sell it so we got a new denim that i'm trying out i have never sold a pair of wranglers before but these are made in usa and i really really liked the wash they're just like a super light blue wash and yeah, made in USA, they are size 32, 34, so I thought I'd be able to model them pretty well. And normally my vintage jeans, I sell anywhere from like 25 to like 40 plus dollars, depending on what they are. But yeah, I thought these would at least be worth picking up, probably sell them for like 30 bucks or something. This was passed off from my man Ant, and it is a Thunderbirds. Like United States has like the Statue of Liberty and this is actually embroidered, I think. Yeah, this is like an embroidered plane up here and yeah, just United States Air Force, just like tied IT. So pick this guy up. Just got a basic like mocha Carhartt pocket tee size medium. We're almost done. We got a double XL Hooters tee. Just big Hooters tee with the hit on the back. Really nice fade and wear on it. And the last thing that I have in here is a pair of double knee car hearts with some repairs on them. As you guys can see, somebody blew out the crotch region, but they repaired it with like denim. So it looks kind of dope, honestly. And there's another repair like that on it somewhere. I think it's down here. Yeah, it has two little repairs like that. They replaced it with denim. So I thought the repairs were pretty cool. Some nice wear, like a sage green colorway. Honestly, like if anything, these will for sure sell for like 30 or so bucks for me. So pick those guys up. And then, like I said, the basket I also got and that is it so not that many finds we were only down there for the day and it was a saturday i never go to the bins or thrift or anything on weekends i normally try to stay away especially with corona because there's so many more people but it was really chill at the ones that we went to and i had a great time thank you guys for checking out the video as always like comment subscribe follow me on instagram loveless.vintage I'll put it up here on the screen right now. I appreciate all you guys watching and showing love on the last video I did. It's been going crazy, so I really, really appreciate it. If you saw anything that you liked in this video, make sure to hit me up on Instagram. If not, you'll see it on my Depop in the future. With all that being said, peace out. Have a good day, y'all. See you later.